Hello, I'm Mies Amigos, I'm out there, man 86 and welcome to episode 3 of my Flores career mode series on FIFA 22. Um, so again, apologies for the long absence, I've had a busy couple of weeks and but I'm back now. I'm going to chuck out a few episodes hopefully in the next couple of days, so hopefully that makes up for it. But we're going to go straight into uh, the game against Brentford, the first game of the season. Um, we lost this one in real life, so hopefully, um, you know, having Flores in cam position will give us the edge that we didn't have in the first game. So, um, yeah, another start, really good start for Flores. Obviously, this is going to be his first league appearance, and it's the first league game of the season. Pre did pretty well in the preseason, so um, I fully expect it to be involved. But still, you know, being 62 rated. You kind of do question the fact that I am involved, but here's the objectives. I get a match rating 7.5, goal involvement, score, and then I think we've got to have a few shots. So, uh, we're just going to go straight into it, guys. Um, you know, try and get the ball as quickly as we can. Um, like I said, we had a good preseason, so I'm not too fussed with them kind of getting um, first team action. We're going to go straight out here, obviously, knock it wide. Um, I think that's the Saka. It doesn't tell me what my teammates are, and it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, but it's unfortunate there that um, I think um, Smith Rowe was offside. No, oh yeah, I was. Off no, Smith Rowe was offside, so that's pretty unlucky. But um, yeah, we're going to go straight on and see what we can do in this game. So yeah, we just got to keep in mind the fact that um, obviously being a low-rated player and still learning that my stamina is not going to be that great, so. Being able to, here we go, get on the ball. I oh, know we can't go do that. Um, it'd be great to kind of do some, get a goal and nice and early, or you know, get do some really cool stuff nice and early, so that by the time it gets towards the end of the game, we don't have any stamina left. Um, we won't have to be chasing anything. So we're gonna try and look for that goal. To be honest with you guys, um, trying to keep making sure that our rating gets above 7.5 because obviously we want to fulfil all, all our all our objectives. Um, I thought they were going to get a decent chance there to be honest with you but we get a ball, get a decent break um, knock it out wide again, I think this is going to be my main avenue I think uh, trying to knock it out wide um, the good thing about Arsenal is that we do have really lively wingers so um, being a cam at Arsenal is probably going to be a really good thing to really enjoyable thing because um, the wide players are always going to be looking to get involved so we should have to take advantage of that uh, breaking into the next 37 minute, nothing really happened in the first half really, we just you know, got back and forth really. Um, yeah, it gets a bit um, mundane I think, the word is, for when you're playing just one player, because you've got, to, you've got to rely on the computer to do some good decisions and you know we all know the computer doesn't really like to make really good decisions, so but we're going to try and get into decent space here, uh, try and just hang around the box a bit. Um, I'm lucky not to get the ball there. Um, again, but being a low-rated player and quite short as well, um, we're not going to win many headers. But a decent pass out here, guys, with a decent turn. But unfortunately, the, the first touch really lets us down. Um, it's pretty looking likely we're going to go into the first half nil-nil, which is kind of unfortunate. But still, um, we can start to build on for the second half. So yeah, we're going to go straight into the second half here guys, 56 minutes, nothing really happens. We've got a couple of really hard games after this, I think Chelsea and Man City, so we really need to get a good result from this game, give us a decent head start in the league. We slot in, I believe it's Saka, um, in straight away, and obviously he goes and gets a goal, which he's been doing in real life. Um, I think he's our second top scorer now under Smith Rowe, which is awesome. Yeah, it is Saka. Um, I find that... Um, Flores and Saka do combine quite well in this game, uh, both obviously young and quick and they're very attack minded as well so it's pretty easy to slot in Saka there and you know what is in his position it's pretty likely that he's going to score um, and it was a really good goal as well, just um, smashed right past the keeper and it's exactly where we want to be, we want to be one nil up at least. Um, it's not the goal that I need, I actually need to score a goal myself but still um, hopefully getting the assist will make sure that my, at least my rating is above 7.5. So I can go straight off, which is quite funny. It's always funny when that happens, when a uh, goal, goal scorer scores a goal and then gets subbed off immediately. Um, but he did really well, we had a really decent game, so we want to save him for the Chelsea game next. So 
Um, here we go guys, again in the middle, the attacking play is really pretty much going through us. Uh, lucky not to be fed through there, I mean, I was looking for the through pass and if we'd got that ball, well, hopefully we would have scored but it wasn't meant to be. Um, we get a nice little ball here and then we're just going to go on a nice run, um, trying to hold off the defender as long as we can. Uh, but the shot obviously wasn't as powerful as we needed it to be so um, yeah that was unfortunate because I was hoping that we were going to get a goal from that point. But as you can tell my stamina is really low now like I said so we always have to make sure that we do our stuff maybe in the first half or early in the second half because yeah by the time it gets to like 60 70th minute we're not going to have any stamina left so yeah 1-0 victory for Arsenal against Brentford which is awesome better than we did in real life and uh, gives us a good um, starting point, two objectives out of three, which is pretty good. Um, oh, it was to assist the goal. So I thought it was just a score, so it was assist goal as well. So I got the object, got that objective as well. Getting tongue tied there. Um, getting some training done, and then we're going to go straight into this Chelsea game. So notice that we've gone up to a, 70, a 63 overall, which is pretty sick. My goal is pretty much to get um, to 65 as soon as possible because it sounds like a good number. Um, again, we're going to get the star against Chelsea, a huge game, biggest game of our career so far. Um, pretty nervous to be honest with you, Brentford was a really hard test for the whole team, let alone just me. And uh, um, yeah, Chelsea is a bit of a step up from that, so we're in for a tough game. And we've got Man City after this as well, so um, yeah, tough episode really. But we're going to go straight onto it, obviously try and get on the front foot as fast as possible. Um, we don't really want to get them too much chances especially in our in our box in our area um, but yeah they start off with possession right now um, immediately knock it out wide to Alonso and then Lukaku is going to be undoubtedly um, a danger for us because obviously he's quite powerful and obviously he's a good shot in this game um, so we're just going to have to be mindful try and get an early goal hopefully um, but yeah, I mean, it's always going to be difficult, especially when you can't, even with me controlling the whole team, it's going to be difficult. Um, absolutely beautiful pass there, and really good chip, um, just unfortunately, yeah, I think this Richarlison couldn't convert, which sucks, because that would have been a really good, um, really good move, and it would have been a really good um, an assist as well for me. But. Uh, we move, obviously, and we try again um, once we get the ball back because Chelsea like to keep the ball. Um, really decent strike there, but I think Pulisic. Yeah. Um, I think it might be a mount, actually. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much just going to be defensively challenged all game, really. Um, especially with Lukaku and Pulisic as well. Pulisic is actually half decent on this game, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we do well in that instance and it's 30, 30 minutes. And, we're just going to try and absolutely bomb it down the ring. I think Rudiger is not going to be able to keep up with us. Um, thought about knocking it in, but I thought, you know what, well, I'm just going to have a shot. Um, bounce kindly to Rudiger. Uh, sorry, Richardson. But um, turns out he was offside, so that sucked. <laughs> Should have had two assists by this point. So um, pretty much when that happens, you know what kind of game you're going to be in for. But we're going to be nil-nil at half-time, which is a pretty decent result considering our team and... Chelsea's team, um, we're, we're going to go ahead in the second half and hopefully try and get that goal guys. So yeah, pretty much 58th minute, nothing really happened. But they were another attack and they were just, just attacking us and getting the ball back. And Pretty unlucky deflection there, I have to say. Um, I think Leno should have done better. I don't know why Ramsdale was not playing, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, just really bad deflection. I think Leno should have done better in that. Uh, 65 minutes, well, probably like, I don't know, 6 or 7, 8 minutes later. And then we're on another attack, but we're going to go straight ahead and we're going to try and bomb it past, um, I think it was Alonso. Um, doing really well, really strong, actually. And we're getting an absolutely amazing goal. Um, Quite surprised how strong Marcelo is in this game. For being quite quite a short player, um, he's got quite a good strength and he can hold. I mean, he held. I think it was Rudiger and Alonso off. They, I mean, they were swarming all over me the whole way through. Um, but a good strength and a good shot. I mean, I know that once I'm in that kind of box area, uh, if I get a clean shot, I know that it's probably it was definitely going to go on target and you might even get a goal. The keeper should have done better, I think. He kind of just kind of fell away from the ball, which is weird. Smith Rowe coming off here for 
not sure who this is to be honest with you but um <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and try and get a winner guys because obviously we actually need to win this game um to stay in the top ish half of the table at least um we do have three points already but we kind of want to have six um Lukaku is a massive danger though um he's really strong again like i said he has a really good shot uh, and really good technical ability there which is weird i don't think i've ever seen Lukaku do step overs like that in real life it looks really weird when he does it in the game which is I don't know, it looks strange, but it was a decent goal, I guess, but um, disappointing. We kind of wanted to win this game, like I said. And we get another decent chance here. Once it's in the box, it's kind of um, anyone's guess, really, what's going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, there, they defended really well. And they catch us on the break a little bit here, guys. Um, Lukaku, again, pretty much their best player. Um, just constantly paying and um, just harassing us, and he's quite strong. Like I said, um, going into the 90th minute now, we're thinking, okay, we're probably going to lose this 1-2-1. One, one. Um, they're just playing it around a bit. They know that they've won the game. They know that we can't get the ball. Um, I had surprisingly a decent amount of stamina left, to be honest with you. Um, but we just couldn't really... Um, we couldn't really get it off them. Um, I couldn't get the ball anyway. So, um, decent try there but um obviously we're going to knock it out and it's going to be a 2-1 loss which you know is decent we got our goal which is pretty good i mean you know in player career modes you have to focus on your player before the club so losing games isn't too bad if you're playing games and you're scoring goals um for me anyway even though it's arsenal and obviously one arsenal win uh, we did really well in this game and hopefully it helps us with our rating and um yeah, we go on to the City game and we get all three of our Bit surprised to see City in 8th though, we're in 10th which isn't too bad to be honest with you um, You know, considering we've got a, game, a, a win and a loss so We kind of want to win this game but obviously again this is going to be as hard, maybe even harder than the Chelsea game so um, I'm, you know, I'm going in here with a level head and you know, realistic expectations um, but we're going to try and, you know, fulfill our objectives like we always do and try and get uh, a higher rating because obviously that's what we need to be doing. I want to be in the 70s as soon as possible, to be honest with you. Um, Flores turns 18 in October, so I want to be at least 65 by the time we get to October, which is, you know, less, less than a month, no, about a month and a bit away, so in-game anyway. Um, so we're going to go off and get a decent start here guys, obviously pinging the ball out really quickly which is nice, they can't seem to handle it, um, it's weird seeing what Arsenal do, uh, that was a really good through ball and a really decent shot as well, I actually kind of hoped that had gone in because that would have been an absolute sick goal, um, I just thought you know what I'm in a bit of space, let's just have a ping and um, yeah unfortunately it's too near the keeper, um, but jumping ahead into the 27th minute, um, Again, nothing really much happened um, up to this point. Uh, they get some space, and obviously, when City get in, in and around your box, uh, that's pretty nervy. <laughs> uh, but we get a decent go here, and we get, I think it's Richarlison, um, absolute free. And he goes a little bit wide, which is weird. How, holds the ball up. I, just, I wanted him to run into the box and shoot. I don't know why he went out wide and then kind of stopped. Uh, very frustrating, but there you go. We just got robbed of a, an assist, uh, which is you know, annoying. But there we go. Uh, jumping to pretty much the end of the half, really. Nothing really happened again. Nil nil at half time, which is what the story of the season has been like so far. Which is alright. I don't mind being nil nil down. Uh, we actually win a really good foul in a really good position here. Uh, Flores is very good in this game of drawing fouls. Don't know what this animation is. I uh, don't know what that was about. I kept that in the um, I didn't edit that out because so I want you to see it because I want you to tell me if you've ever experienced that before. <laughs> kind of made me seasickness, you know, uh, motion sickness or whatever. Um, but yeah, we're going to let this um, other dude, I think it's um, Odegaard, take this free kick. There's a really good goal scorer in the free kick. And what a goal that is. And uh, we should get um, a rating for that because we. We conceded the foul that, uh, well, we caused the foul that scored the goal from, so uh, my English is terrible today. But Erdegaard, you mean, get Erdegaard a free kick in that area, he's going to ping one in, and that's absolutely amazing free kick. But yeah, we, we caused the foul, basically. We drew the foul that 
cause that free kick to happen. So we should get a decent bit of bonus to our rating for that. Um, and yeah, one nil in the 70th minute is absolutely fantastic to be honest with you, especially against City. Um, and, you know, it's all about trying to keep possession, which we don't do there, unfortunately. Um, Jesus is going to go and knock it into the middle. I think got Mariano. Um, and we're going to look out to get try and get onto the break. To be honest with you, I'm trying to be as close to their box as possible. Um, but again, Marcelo doesn't really. I mean, we don't really win the ball like that. We prefer the ball on the ground. Um, I don't know whether that's just me or whether that's um, that's a preference pref pref preference for Mar Marcelo. I don't know why I can't talk today, uh, but we're going to go and try and not concede a late equaliser because we absolutely needed to win this game. Um, just kind of annoyed that you know Richarlison messed up my shot earlier. I mean, I would have got a really good assist from that, but it is what it is. Um, we're going to get a decent um, result hopefully if we can keep this one going. We got a late goal against Chelsea, so I was looking for another late goal against. City got, kind of got stuck against the defender in this game, man. So if you get too close to another player and you're trying to get into a position, the game knows it and it just makes sure that you can't get loose from the player that you burst into and uh, make sure that you can't get into the position to get the goal. So, um, yeah, 1-0 victory. Um, let's see if we got all of our uh, objectives and uh, wait a while to see if we did or not. Um, we got one out of two, which sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, guys, not bad. Three games, two wins and a loss. Uh, we're going to get into the um, um, transfer deadline day here. Um, obviously, we're not in control, so we don't know who's going to go. Lagazette, Pepe, Holding, leaving. All players that I wouldn't mind leaving, it's fine. Richarlison, I think, is a decent buy, although I haven't really clicked with him with Marcelo yet. Um, I've clicked better with Saka. Um, but you never know, we've got the whole season now to kind of forge a, a connection with Richardson. Hopefully that works because if we get connected well then um, hopefully we can start scoring goals and I can get a bit more assists because you all know what I'm trying to do. Bale going to Brighton weird. <laughs> I'm just going to say Janssen as well. It's like Brighton's becoming the new Spurs. Um, getting Ericsson as well from um, on a free, I think it was, so yeah, Arsenal getting Ericsson is a bit of a weird one, to be honest with you, especially when we're playing well, uh, we're the cam at the moment, starting cam, we're going to try and get out to 65 rated as soon as possible, obviously, like I said, um, hopefully we can do that before October, which is, should be awesome, and we've got a month for that, so we're going to go ahead, and we're playing this noise game, so I'm going to go ahead and um, play this game, so hopefully we can get another goal, and another win. Yeah, and Arsenal vs Norwich, a decent game. Um, I always like playing Norwich, I've never had a problem with Norwich, pretty decent team. They seem to jump up and down from the championship. There's our um, match objectives. Hopefully get a goal and assist, avoid losing, and then get an 8.5, which is fairly doable against Norwich, even with a 63-ish rated player. Um, but you never know with this game, you never know with the, the computer and you know the fact that you're only controlling one player and not you know all of them and you, you don't you only have so much control is what I'm trying to say um, but yeah I'm going straight to the 13th minute a uh, decent um, tackle there and obviously we get a decent shot and we should have scored that goal I mean I really really should have scored that goal I was really annoyed with myself um, decent position really good position actually and yeah just too close to the keeper, and I think it's Tim Krul as well, which is, he always does well against Arsenal, Tim Krul, so that's fantastic. Um, pretty, pretty poor corner as well. Um, but you never know, we get another chance, hopefully, and we can score a goal or so. At least get an assist anyway, I don't mind not scoring if we get an assist. Uh, but we get a decent position here, and again, another really good save from Tim Krul. Um, you just tell it's going to be one of those games. Um, Try to get the balls back as often as you can, and obviously have another shot, but that was a pretty poor one. Um, jumping straight into the second half, nothing really happened in this game. We weren't 
British playing well, to be honest with you. Uh, that was a really bad pass from me, and then they go on a bit of a break, but they don't actually do anything with it. Um, here I'm trying to set up, um, I think it's Richarlison again, Saka trying to set me up. Um, again, getting lucky rebound, still missing. Um, just, every so often you get a game on FIFA that like, you just are not allowed to score on, you, no matter what you do. Uh, but here we go again, guys, trying to get into space, really good power, trying to get the ball back. And we do eventually get this goal, and it's absolutely fantastic goal because it's in the 79th minute. Uh, could very well win us the game, which is what we need to be doing, to be honest with you. I'm uh, quite lucky, managed to get the rebound from that tackle that they got on us. Um, but Marcelo is strong in this game, I don't know quite why, but he's very strong. And uh, yeah, he managed to get the ball back and pretty much scored a really good goal. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's won us the game, I don't want to concede again. Again, that really, really, really does not look like Arteta. <laughs> don't know why he's not in this game. Two games, two goals in four games, not too bad. For a 17-year-old, 63-rated player, that's pretty good, to be honest. Um, we're going to try and see out this game. Smith Rowe's coming off. Um, they get a really decent shot right at the last minute. Leno doing a really good save. He's a good goalkeeper, but I think um, Sergeant of all people. <laughs> I would have been gutted if he'd scored, to be honest with you. Charleston coming off um, for, I think it's Enketia, not quite sure. Um, we're just desperate not to concede this, you know, not concede a goal because, you know, we absolutely do not want to lose this or even draw. I think drawing against Norwich is a bit of a failure as well. Um, but yeah, going into the second minute of 92 minutes, or 92 minutes of, of 92. Um, we actually get that win, so yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this um, series, guys. I'm really enjoying playing it. Um, sorry again for the wait, it's just, you know, work and schedule and stuff. But I'm back now, hopefully take out, like, two or three more episodes in the next week or so, so stay tuned for that. Um, again, we're going to try and get to 65 rated, which shouldn't take us too much longer. Um, but yeah, take it easy, guys, stay tuned for episode four, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.